Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see about another new feature from 12.1 where we are going to use the sequence as a default value for the columns. So before understanding this uh, new feature, let us let us understand the uh, behavior till 11, 11G version. See, till 11G, whenever we want to give a default value for a particular column, we'll be specifying something like a default keyword as part of the column definition and we'll give whatever the inf whatever the value we want to give as a default value. So the default value can be either a hard-coded value or it can be a single row function that is a predefined function in the Oracle something like sysdate we can use or user function like that we can use a single row function. So the behavior of this particular default keyword is whenever we, whenever we are not explicitly specifying this column as part of the insert statement Oracle will consider the default value for that particular column. Say for example here I have given three insert statement. In the first insert statement we have actually not given the student ID column. We have omitted. In the second insert statement we are passing a value of 201 for student ID column. Same way in third insert statement I am passing a null value. So whenever we pass whatever the value we are passing this will get inserted as expected as you can see here. Same way whenever you pass a null value Oracle will insert the null value only as you can see here for the third record null value is inserted. However for the first insert statement when you are not specifying the student ID column or when you are omitting the column as part of insert statement Oracle will consider the default value as you can see for the first insert statement this default value is considered because this particular column is omitted in the insert statement. So this is the behavior till 11G version. From 12.1 version, Oracle introduced two new enhancements with specific to the default. One is like we can use the sequence as a default value for a column. Another way is to mention the column as an identity column. So in this video, I will talk about how to use the sequence as a default value. In the next video, I will talk about the identity column information. Let us understand the sequence or let us understand how to use the sequence as a default value through few examples. So before uh, going to under before starting with sequence as a default, let us just quickly see the current behavior. Okay, so I since I have already created the student detail, I'm just dropping this table. Here I'm just creating a table with default value as 9999 for student ID column. So the first insert statement is with 201 for student ID. The second state insert statement is null value for student ID. And the third insert statement where I am not giving the student ID column at all. So I am just inserting. Now when you select the information from the table, for the third insert statement, Oracle has considered the default value of whatever defined as part of the table definition. So this is the default behavior till 11G version. Now let us see how to use the sequence as a default value for a particular column from 12C. Okay, so let me first drop the table. Okay, since I have not committed, this table is locked, right? Yeah, now let me just drop it. Yeah, now the table is dropped. So now we need a sequence. So I'm just creating a sequence called student ID sequence. Sorry, this is also there. So let me first drop the sequence. Yeah, sequence is dropped. I am just creating the sequence. Yes, the sequence is created. Now, if you see here, instead of a hard coded value, you can give the pseudo column value that is sequence dot next well, as well as sequence dot curval you can use. But in that session, the next well should have got generated. Then only you can use the sequence dot current current value. So let me first create the table. Yeah, table is created. Now I am inserting the same set of insert statement here. The first insert statement with student id as 201, the second insert statement with student id as null value, the third insert statement where we are not specifying the student id column itself. Now let's query from the table. As you can see here, the first record is inserted with 201 because that is the value you have given here. The second value is inserted with null value because that is what we specified for the student id column. The third insert statement, we have actually omitted the student ID column. So Oracle has actually generated sequence, whatever you have specified as part of the table definition. 
So this is the uh, new feature from 12.1. So there is one more small enhancement done on top of this where we can specify default on null keyword here. When you say on null keyword, that means you are explicitly saying Oracle to consider the default value whenever you are specifying the null value also. Now let us see that with one more example. So for that first let me drop the table table is dropped I'm dropping the sequence I'm just recreating the sequence okay now if you see I'm just recreating the table with default on null okay so this is the new change in this slide and we are specifying whatever the sequence we want to use as a default value let me create the table your table is created so the first insert statement we are inserting with 100 Second insert statement, we are inserting for a student ID value of null. In the third insert statement, we are not specifying the student ID column itself. Now let me query from the table. As you can see here, for the second and the third insert statement, Oracle has considered the sequence value because we have specified on null keyword. That is why for the second insert, Though we are passing null as a value for student ID column, Oracle automatically considered the sequence as a default value. Anyway, the third insert statement, we have not specified the student ID column here. So that's why Oracle by default considered the sequence as the default value here. Okay. So this is the new feature from 12.1. But there are few things we just need to note down. So when you are um, creating a table, just before creating the table, the sequence should be there. So for in this example, I'm just dropping the sequence. Now I'm just trying to create the table with the sequence. So the prerequisite is that just before creating the table, you should have the sequence in place. Otherwise your ta create table script will fail. So similarly, there is one more error you need to just make a note. So before that, let me just drop the table here. I'm just dropping the sequence. Anyway, both are not there. So now I'm creating the sequence. Now the sequence is created. I'm just creating the table with the sequence as a default value. Table is created. Now I am inserting some records into this table. I'm just committing the data. After that, I'm, now I'm just dropping the sequence because the sequence is an independent object. It's not a dependent object for a table. Though the table is using the sequence, the sequence is still an independent. You can go and drop it. But the problem is after dropping a sequence, whenever you try to fire an insert statement, you will get an error saying that sequence does not exist. That's that's a valid error, right? Because in inside the table definition, we have already used the sequence value, but now the sequence is dropped. So Oracle is not able to generate this sequence record. That's why we are getting this error. So make sure that you have a sequence created before table creation. Also, once a table is created, don't drop the sequence at all. Let us quickly uh, go through the summary, whatever we have learned in this thing. So from 12.1 uh, onwards, we can specify the sequence.next well as well as sequence.curver as part of the default keyword. So whenever you are specifying like that, when this particular column is omitted, then Oracle will insert the default value as you can see here in the first record. If at all we want to consider for null value also, then we need to explicitly specify default on null. So whenever we specify default on null class, then for null value as well as the omitted information, Oracle will insert the sequence information. As you can see here from the uh, row number first and the row number three of the result, it has considered the sequence value as a default value. So uh, here is a behavior till 11G. In fact, exactly the same script will work in 12 also. We can give the default as part of some hardcoded script or function. However, from 12.1, we can give additionally a class keyword called on null. So this is just to explicitly say, in case if you are inserting a null value, do you want the default value to be considered or not? If you want the default value to be considered, then you can explicitly say default on null. The same thing can be applicable for default on null and sequence ID also. So all the script whatever I have showed here is available in this blog link. You can just copy and you can just try around yourself. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on uh, new feature videos, interview questions and tip, tips and tricks videos. Thank you.